Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanna. All right, we're gonna run through this real quick because both of us tired. But um, we apologize. I told y'all last week that our schedule just was as tight as a virgin. And um, I didn't pop no cherry last week because we didn't come through last week. So we're gonna give you a quick cap of last week and what we deem to be important. But that episode last week was good. Yeah. So this very, week very is um, living it all along. But last week's episode, this is what I will say. Oh, welcome back, family members. If y'all yeah. new, kick back, relax, do like escape do, just kick it. Yeah, hit the subscribe button, hit your bell. Yeah. So when you see when the videos come through, you will we'll be. Boo -boo. Yeah. So, so last week, what I will say here is that was a life lesson out your home parts. Yes, indeed. Because basically Nova has lived her life mm -hmm. deeming Lona as being the person that broke up her household, that took her father away. And it was all because Aunt Vi fueled that. Yep. And we have Nova over there living in a way that's just like her mother, but since no one actually gave her the real story about why Ernest really left, then that left Nova not really being able to connect the dots on how she operates and how she moves and the decisions that she makes because she is her daughter, her mother's child. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. So the question that I walked away with because Aunt Vi basically was like, listen, I got a problem with white people. And I got a problem that he left this black queen that we all knew was his soulmate. And he went off and married this white woman. Now, my question would have been, if he had went off and he had gotten a black woman in the likings, as um, yeah. as, he, as, um, like. as um, Judge Harrington would say, of Trudy... Would, would, this, would, would this would we be still having this conversation because basically Trudy didn't want to live the traditional southern life she loved Ernest but she did not want to marry him and Ernest yeah. had he he was flat footed on the fact that I'm going to marry you when she didn't he went off yeah she wanted to be a free spirit and that free spirit left her without that man. Yep. And Nova but, realized, hold on, I'm doing exactly what my mama, mama did. did. Yep. And I'm pushing this old king away. Now we're going to go into this week's episode. Listen. <sighs> we got Ralph Angel and Darla. They don't went down to the county and don't got the marriage um, license. Anybody that has ever been married before, you know that. You know the you, protocol. When you go down there and you say, Hey, I am, uh, uh, uh. It's a darn shame that they charge you for everything down there. And you got 30 days yep. to have somebody sign off on it, yep. send it back to them jokers so they can send you your real certificate with your name typewriting on it. Exactly. If you make it past the 30 days, you got to rebuy that charm bay too. Hmm. So don't let no mishaps happen because they're they going to charge you for it. Yeah. So, Ralph Angel and Dollar, look, listen, look, let me... <laughs> I'm going to be real with y'all. <laughs> Are they the most defeated couple that you've ever seen on TV? They don't look good as a unit. They don't. They, they always don't. look like struggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always look like we might see, get past this see, one see week. See, they got a night and day look. <laughs> they have, a, they on the days where they look like they're happy, they got it going on. But the days where they look like they don't got it on going on, even on the, the days where they are right. But you still, still, but you still see, yeah, you still see struggle. With just, a, you see struggle with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> so they go over there and tell um, Aunt Vi, listen, we got our license. But what we're going to do is we're going to make an appointment with the judge. We, you're going to the justice, justice of the peace. peace. And Ralph Angel's whole thing now is, I wonder is, She's settling for this because she knows that I can't afford to give her a wedding. Now, Aunt Vi already laid it out on the table. Listen, if that's what y'all want to do, we can have a reception down at my place. We can make it pop. We can have, yeah, we can set all we can do this. Let's get up. Oh, yeah. So, later on, we um, hear that Ralph Angel was talking to Mr. Prosper. 
And he told Mr. Prosper, he said, hey, I ain't never had no money coming in like this, da 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 And them old cats always know how to knock you off your high horse. Oh, they let you start talking and let you feel all good about yourself. Let you pat your own self on the back. I don't, I don't he, said, he said, take a look at these. These are the books. He said, so what this mean right here? He said, uh, he said, son, you're going to break even your first year. Ralph, he said, it ain't no good guy doing thing. thing. Yeah, he said, I've been busting my back around here to break even. See, this is what I can't stand about um, these guy doing old folk either. Don't compare your struggle to mine. <laughs> he said that he was in the red for seven mm -hmm. years. Yes, yep. He said, if I had just had one year where I broke even, they wouldn't have had taken the mm -hmm. lease Oh my God, don't lay it, man. Mm -hmm. Come on now, you doing good for yourself. How? How sway he's still broke? Yep. So then but he told him right, dog. He did it. tell him right. Anybody that is on here that started the business, you know, if you even break even on your first few years of in business, you doing good. Some yeah. people being red. You can't eat though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then we see Ralph Angel. He is talking to Hollywood about it. Telling Hollywood, listen. Um, I'm just afraid that I'm not going to be able to get Dollar the wedding that she wanted because, and I believe she's settling with that idea, whatever. And Hollywood gave him the old Southern man thing. Listen, mm -hmm. bruh, you going to have to make some sacrifices as a man that you yeah. may not want to do. But at the end of the day, you got to take care of your lady, your old lady. Mm -hmm. So if your old lady wants her a good old wedding and you have the means to do it and you ain't, ain't nothing physically wrong with you other than the fact you might be a little tired. He said, there's a graveyard shift. Yep. There's always a ram in the bush to get done what you need to get done. And they're peeling some shrimp. You need to go peel them shrimp. No, I, I don't. I'll get that number for you. You gonna have to make it happen, Captain. I don't make sacrifices to get where I'm going, where I've been, yep. and where I am now. You gonna have to do the same. You gonna have to stop being lazy. Yep. And thinking everything's supposed to come to you. Exactly. You in the farming business now. Welcome to the dirty so, south. Say you gonna have to get a second job. He said, but I ain't gonna tell you what to do. I'm just gonna. Give I'm just gonna give you the number. That's what old cat just said. I ain't gonna tell you what to do, player. And when they when they hands start moving, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, player. I'm just gonna give you the number. And then they turn around and walk away from uh -huh, the yeah. house. <laughs> That's cold word for when you come back and you struggling. I don't want it. Yep. <laughs> cause I gave you the guy doing dumb, <laughs> and I put it a good word. Cause that good word is that's a hell of a lot yeah, right here. That's a whole lot. So then we have Nova, and I love Nova's dress. <clears throat> um, Nova and Doctor Dubois. Oh hell. <sighs> Them Dubois is getting in all kinds of trouble. All oh, kinds. <laughs> well, it's time for her to go on TV. They came up with a formula of how they were going to do their debate, how they were going to get their points across, how they were going to drive certain things home, how are they going to get certain things to trend on Twitter, and da 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 da. Well, everything was going all right until they went to commercial break. And Dr. Dubois decided that he was going to change the formula for how he was going to shake things up a little bit because he knows what it takes to make good TV and to get people talking. And we always say we don't like a good scandal. We don't like when people be on TV at doing the most with the least. Mm -hmm. But if they're not doing the most with the least, we don't talk about it. That's right. So That's right. Dr. Dubois went in with a, he, the way he did it, I was kind of like, okay, bro, pump your brakes. Because it almost was like he was challenging her or he was being dismissive of what she was saying. Mm -hmm. And everything that she was saying, like she was using terms like, what was she saying? Mother nature, Mother nature and father, father, neglect. father, father neglect. And he was like, now tell us what that means. Because we need to have it in a universal language so that everybody understands. Yeah. And you know, Nova don't like to be challenged by nobody. Mm -hmm. So when he did it, I said, this is going to be a goddamn problem. But at first, I thought they was getting off on it. Cause they yeah, because they, yeah, they were, yeah, yeah. I could feel the tension, but it looked like they was liking the tension, though. Yeah. But he know, he know that Nova thrives off of pressure. She, she, she does. She, she but thrives. you got to know. Yeah. But I think if he told her in the beginning, this is what we're going to do. Because every time he comes to her with a plan, she felt like he trying to change her and it comes a whole new argument. So I think he was trying to do it in the heat of the moment. Uh, and that boost get backfired. It backfired big time. <laughs> so when it was time for this segment to go off, look, the lady in the middle turned to look at Nova to ask and Nova was gone. She was gone. 
about to do boy went in the back and he was like how did you think every girl? she said you know what this ain't what we discussed what was that that you tried to do and that you dismissed me mm -hmm. you was rebuttaling everything that i said we were not a team on out there you made me look like a fool this that and the third and he said but we're trending yeah we're trending and he said what we're trending about is now going to make what we deem to be an important topic now a worldwide discussion yeah so if i hadn't curved it the way that i i did people would not be talking so he said we got look listen we got an early morning flight she said hold on you ain't going yeah you ain't going to new orleans you you stand your you stay right here <laughs> order you some room service <clears throat> Ain't gone about your life. And I'm sitting here like, we back at this again? Did you not learn no lessons from what you just was taught? Yeah. You unvile last week? Yeah, we thought we thought you had an epiphany. But you did. But, but you had one and then you done, done freaking retracted the whole thing. So she does. She goes back home. Without him. Yep. I said, you know what? But this is the part I do. Like, I'm moving ahead, but I'm going to back up. When he got, when she got home... The first day, Charlie was like, where he at? Where? She said, so I take it that you didn't see what happened on that TV. Charlie said, I yeah. did. Yeah, she said, it was, yeah. And she it was said, excellent. Yeah, excellent. It made for good TV. She said, so what you saw, you didn't think he was being district daggone respectful. <laughs> he wasn't doing this. He, Charlie said, no. no. He did what needed to be done to make good TV, TV so that things can start trending. And now people are talking and having a conversation. So you can see her wheels turning at that point. Now, Charlie did tell um, tell Nova said, if he changed the formula without y'all knowing, then that is a problem. Yeah. But y'all can work through that. Y'all can yeah. communicate and get that back on track. And I would tell him myself if I, you know, I ever If got he was here, here, you know. <laughs> so basically, get your man here. So I was like, okay, maybe mm. we're going to get this on the right track. We don't know. Now, we're trying to do the Brown Sugar Festival. Them Landry's got to go. Yeah. Them goddamn Landry's got to go. I knew they was going to do something. I knew, but I didn't know how they were going to do I didn't know at what extent they was going to do something. Because I thought that the plans were kind of like and, done yeah. around ways of them sabotaging it in a big way. That's what I thought, too. Yeah. Well, oh, I was going to say something, but... It might get me in trouble. Yeah, I'm going to say it. If you're from this area, you know the Lowry last name. The Landry's are the Lowry's. <laughs> Pretty much. The Lowry's can shut you down. Yeah. And I don't understand what the hell they got on people. But there is only one seafood restaurant in the all town of where my mama lived. Yep. And it ain't even a good one. But don't you ever try to bring a seafood restaurant there. You won't survive. It's that money pile. Oh my God. They are the Landry's. It's that money pile. So she thought, well, Charlie. Charlie thought that she had this field reserved and all lot Because the Queen, Sh the Brown Sugar Festival is the next day. Well, Mr. Winston brings his hard parts up there to tell her, listen. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, I know we had a verbal agreement, but... This land is really not available. And that got doing Sam Landry with her stinking hard paws. Looked he, like he about ready to die. I say he looked like a pissed off cat. That's what he looked like. <laughs> Siamese cat. So he comes up there talking about saying, you know what, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm having a slave auction. I mean, an auction tomorrow. So I'm going to need this land. Because that's the way he came up there. That's like, how it came off, yeah. Like, like, I got I to gotta do right by the farmers, you know. They're like, bulls get. Like, he don't come a day before. I hope we did. I wonder if they pay for it or they just letting them use it. If she paid for it, she better get every dime and interest back. Yeah. And penalty. So now they realize they can't have this um, festival in the field. And they need another place that will be able to hold the rides, the games, all of the festivities that Charlie has envisioned for this festival. They calling around. Now her and um, Remy. Remy. They get to brainstorm and they calling everybody. So eventually they called this pastor. Evidently the pastor has a big field at his church or something or on his property. We don't know which one. And he said, you know what? You can go ahead and have it here. It is what it is. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. We back on track. We yep. don't have the Smile. festival Let's do tomorrow. It. We get Ferris wheels, Duncan booth, ski ball. Got doing. Throw the dosh at the balloons, the clowns, the freaking merry-go-round. Well, let's do it, y'all. Scrambler. 
Hey, y'all don't know nothing about the scrambler, do y'all? Yeah, the cars go back, look like you're gonna hit this one, but it move out the way before you get through there. Yeah, y'all know about it. You from the country, you know about it. You know about the scrambler, man. Yeah. The scrambler and the octopus. Uh-huh. You big stuff when you get on that <laughs> octopus. <laughs> see, so, all you do, all you do is go up and down like this. Uh -huh. <laughs> But you thought it was the best thing in the world, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've got to a killer rise. Uh -huh. And I don't get on that biscuit. Now, nah, it was up yesterday and I'm going to ride it today? No. Huh? And it's in the ground by a little stake this long? Uh -huh. No. Not doing it. <laughs> so, all right. So now we at a point where Charlie, she done settled down. Her and Remy, done, you know, they started drinking them some wine. I said, oh, hell. She done got up on his lap. He done took the hat off. I said, y'all about to get it on, popping and cranking. And then the next thing we know, Davis West with his hard parts and, and his lisp. Don't came right on through the door. Came through the door, cop blocking him and Mike. Uh-huh. I said, okay, Davis, why are you here? Drop yeah. him off. Why you had to come yeah, why to the door? Coming in the day? Yeah. But Davis want to really talk to her because he got something going on with his hand. And I'm like, nah, he saw Remy's truck in the yard. <laughs> That's what that was. That player saw the freaking, um, what you call it? In the 4160. See, we have a friend that's dealing with the same thing. What? Uh, where the <laughs> the ex is cock blocking. Every time he want to be present everywhere she at, whether she got a boyfriend or whatever, he want to be present. And I got a solution for her. I just ain't had, but I just ain't had a chance to tell her yet, though. <laughs> I think I should tell him what the solution is. Yeah. It might help somebody. My solution is this. Set him up. Call him over there. Mm. And when you call him over there, make sure you butterball nick it, you and your man and your hound parts is in the air and he tanning it up. Mess him up for life. How you getting in there, style? Huh? How you gonna get in there? Though? Oh, they're gonna keep the door open. They're gonna set it. They're gonna she gonna call him and tell him that I that I need you to come over. He coming. Somebody's gonna get killed. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> We know these people. Huh? And then we'd be on the first 48. Because <laughs> you know, all roads lead to Ford Motor Company and the first 48 over here. Yeah. There ain't no in between. Yeah. So, now why Remy and look, we got a house full of the exes. Now, we're well, not really an ex. Nah. We got Remy, we got um Charlie, and we got Davis West in the living room. And now we realize that there's another problem. The Landry's down got the hope of the pastor. Don't scare the pastor half the death said, we're going to get rid of your goddamn insurance uh -huh. if you have this thing over here. So now they don't have a feel again. Yep. We're back so square one. Now, they're strategizing. Even Davis West was like, listen, Charlie, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to scale back. But you, he said you a rock star. You going you gonna to rise to the occasion. Yeah. It may not be what you envisioned it being, but remember back in our college days when we did this, this, and we had a, what they say, um, Destiny's Child came uh, through. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we still had a good guy doing time. Yes, indeed. So go ahead and just scale back. Maybe have it on the farm. Remy said, can't have it on the farm. We, we are preparing for season. Said, well, how about unvised? He was like, yeah. So Davis West said, well, you know what? If if it's if you don't mind, I can get Tamar to come on through and she can yeah, do the music. Can. I can get a couple of the players to come through showing appearance. We can get it on and popping. Yes, sir. So then everybody else was like, Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. So now everybody don't came together, but Charlie ain't happy about it. No. Nah. And I can't even say that I don't understand because I am Charlie. If I have a mm -hmm. vision for something mm -hmm. and it don't go my way, it's gonna take me a good hour and a half. Got to talk you off the ledge. That happened this weekend. Let me tell you. And I had to talk you off the ledge. He had to talk me off the ledge. Because this weekend, this past weekend, that's really why a lot of this, yeah. Um, that's why my schedule is real tight. Because we took our mothers away this weekend to the beach. For them to have a good old time for the weekend before it got cold. It rained off and on the entire time that we were there. And I was one pissed off black wench. It, oh. But I had to talk off the I said, baby, this is not our vacation. This is their vacation. And they were having a great time. But I had they, a vision of everything I wanted to do with them. And we weren't able to do everything we wanted to do, what I wanted to do with them. Because <clears throat> it was raining. 
but then it made me feel good because both of the moms pulled me to the side and they was mm. like plop oh i didn't mean to tell y'all my nickname mm. um <laughs> this has been the best time i have right. had in a long, in a long time. they say matter of fact my whole life my mama like, said my whole life i like, never what? had fun like i had with y'all mm -hmm. that night I can't tell y'all everything we did, but let's just say I'm at an age when my mama can respect that I'm grown. Yeah. And I can respect that she grown. Yeah. And we can respect that we can do grown skit together. Hey. And you ain't my mama right now, and I'm not your daughter right now. Hey. <laughs> and your mama's at an age where hey. that ain't my daughter-in-law hey. right now. Hey. And I'm not her mama-in-law right hey. now. Hey. <laughs> and we did it all in the presence of Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and he was egging it on. D hey. so. But yeah, we had yeah, yeah, they had a good time. So that's why I was like, don't even say nothing. Don't put no damp on. Don't let them know you upset. Cause you're gonna mess up their fun. Yeah. But listen, we're gonna do a vlog on it. Yeah. So make sure if y'all not following us soon, on coming our, soon, coming our soon. vlog channel, Life With Us TV is always in the bottom bar. Be looking out for that probably by the end of the weekend. I might have that up by the end of the weekend. So, Charlie ain't, ain't happy with um, what's going on. She not happy. And eventually, it came together. But it still didn't come together like she wanted it to come together. And them folks are having a good but time. But they're having a good time. They're yeah. eating Aunt Vi's pies. Uh-huh. Um, Prosper Dancing. over there. He, <laughs> why everybody want to arm wrestle? If yeah. that ain't a country thing, I'm yeah. Arm wrestle and play. What's that game that your uncle break out every time we down the road? With the bean bags. With oh, oh, uh, 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 God, cornhole. Cornhole. Yeah. And horseshoes. Yes, sir. You and, go that country. That's all you hear. Ding. And <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get good. You put it to bed. Mitten that too, boy. Hello. Hey. So we got to the end. They were having, like we said, they were having a good time. And Dr. Dubois shows up. I said, how many times this guy got to keep flying back and forth, using up all his miles? His frequent flying miles? Yes. <laughs> that took him about three, four years to build up? He gonna be on a buddy pass if this relationship keep at this pace. He shows up and he wants to talk to Nova. He told Nova, listen, what do I have to do to fix this? I apologize for the way that it went down, but... I see more for you than you see for yourself. Now, in Nova's defense, because she's so strong-willed and she has a vision of how she wants things to go, but she's afraid that she's going to be swallowed up by his vision of her for herself rather than the vision that she has for herself. Mm -hmm. But I understand what he's saying too. He was saying, I want to you to elevate your vision so yeah. that you can be everything that I know that you can be. Mm -hmm. Don't limit yourself to just staying in this area, just fighting for this area. What you have is a gift that everyone needs to um, be exposed to. So sometimes that would take you out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Maybe at some point you have to move out of the knife to do what you had, what you need to do to get your mission accomplished. Oh, she said, oh hell no, I ain't leaving my bed. That was the nail in the coffin. Said, oh, said, oh, Leave the no. knife? He the knife? Oh hell no! You get hey, you got me twisted. He was like, you got this game. You don't even know me. You got this game all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> now I did understand what she said about that one because a lot of times we always are sold the story that in order for you to elevate, you have to move this place. You have to be this place. In order for you to make it, you got to be in California. You got to do this. You got to do that. And to an extent, some of that is it's true. true. Mm -hmm. But you can always go back home. You can always venture out, even if it's not those places. Sometimes where you are can be stifling. You have yeah. to go out among with what you already know, what you're familiar with, because sometimes it's the people that's holding you back. Exactly. The resources that are holding you back. So sometimes exactly. you got to put your, like, just like when he was in that arena with all them folk that was talking trash and he said, I just had to swallow it. Because I had to absorb what I needed to absorb mm -hmm. in order for me to fight my way out of that crowd yep. so that I can get the resources and the know-how to do what I need to do. And now he's doing it for her. But she never 
she can't step back long enough to see that. See the whole picture. But at the same time, I get what she's saying. I don't want to be controlled so far out of my element that I feel like I'm losing myself at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you need to communicate to me what it is that we're doing or I'm going to be like, mm -mm, player, you got to go. Cause I'm That's a lot exactly like she, that too. That's exactly what she did. So, um, what else happened? Yeah. All right, so um, I hope, I hope that she see the bigger picture. Cause I think they'll be, can you get out my paper? I think they will be a dynamic team. Yeah. Because, too. because she need to balance. She need to balance so much. And he needs See, her fight. Yeah, and he needs her fight because he got, like you said, he got the know-how. He done been in the arena. Matter of fact, he got her money from the dude that she was arguing with at the thing. But so, because he played the game, he was able to get what he needed for her. Yeah. So, it's like, you, you, she having these little, teeny little pet rallies, about 20, 50 people show up. And Have, everybody got the same amount of money you got. Yeah, so it's like... He's trying to elevate her so her impact can be great in, in the ninth ward. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people call this shucking and jiving. And it, and it is to an extent. But even like I tell people in corporate America all the time, which is where we work in corporate America, is you got to know what vision. You have to have a vision for your life, your career, when you step in the door. Because if you, if you don't, that boat would just be doing like this. And yep. you will be, be going with every, every wind. wind. Like the Bible said, by every wind and doctrine that, that comes, comes your way. way. So, and I was telling one of my girlfriends, and she was like, they keep wanting me to do this. They want me to go to these peer groups and this, that. And I said, but what do you want for your career? If that peer group does not fit with where you want your career to go, yeah. then no is the answer. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, a whole lot of stuff they want me to do, I don't do it because that's not where I want to go. So, that's it's right. not going to benefit me to be over here sitting at these nice dinners, flying first class to India and doing what I, when that's not what I want to do. Yeah. It's not benefiting me, it's benefiting you. So that's you gotta right. play the game sometime, but you better make sure the game is benefiting you. That's right, that's why you gotta have goals. Yeah, so you better yeah. know, you better, like, so you better know when to hold them. So then we see Dollar. Dollar is, she's defeatedly happy. <laughs> Yeah, which I understand. Which I understand. You, it was six years. Six she, years. She had had a relationship with her parents. Her mama called her back. Now the daddy, he ain't buzz yet, but the mama said that she gonna come through, and she gonna see what's up. Mm -hmm. Now Dollar is scared because she's still scared that her parents are gonna judge her. That she's still not gonna be good enough. This, that, and the third. So Aunt Vi told her, said, "Listen, let me tell you a little story. You know they they always go back go back to them stories." Mm -hmm. She said, I was with this man child. I ain't know God made him like that. Mm. <laughs> but she said also what came with that was he went upside my face and that became the norm. And she said, you know what happened? I started thinking how everybody else were thinking about me. And I had to get out of that. In order for me to move on with my life, I had to not care what everybody thought about me because mm -hmm. everybody knew he was whooping my tail. Even when I was out of the situation, I knew that when they looked at me, they saw that situation. But I had yeah. to get to a point where I grew beyond what they thought of me. And mm -hmm. you're going to have to do the same. Regardless of what they do and how they do it, you got to know that you are a good mom. You and Rafa get ready to build this nice life together. And if they don't accept it, so be it. Yeah. I said, well, come on, I'll ride with it. Yeah, because she was like, I had to get this up off me. Because she was saying everybody saw, like, we see with them now, we see the struggle. We, <laughs> we so see gotta, struggle. Yeah, we see the struggle, so you got to get that up off of you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Saying you can't let them see you sweat. But I was laughing at um, Davis West. Now, Davis West, he at the festival now. He having a good time. His friend is singing to him, but he looking up in Charlie's face. Uh-huh. Charlie put it on thick. She gonna kiss Remy in the goddamn mouth in front of um Davis. And Davis sitting over there. Mm-hmm. He don't know what to do with himself. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you messed up a good thing. Yeah. Now she gone, bruh. She gone, yeah. She gone. Say, hey, hey, you hey, you want to spread dingling all around the city. And pay. Hey. You paid to spread your dangling. Yeah. Like, come on so, here, dog. What part you, of the you, game? You is in that? the other player. <laughs> Players. So, yes, I'm gonna say players. Yep. So, uh huh. So now you know, like on um um uh, uh what's the movie with Tyler Perry movie? Uh, he said you got what you wanted, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I might. He said, Mike, you got what you wanted, huh? So um, 
Kiki was crowned the brown sugar queen, which we knew was going to happen. But I was kind of scared because didn't Micah look like he did something? Like when they were reading on, she was like, oh, this was a close call. And he was like, I said, did you switch some numbers around? Did you put some extra votes in the, in the bin or something like that to make this happen? Either way, I ain't mad with you, Micah, because she deserved it. This girl yeah, has been putting did. her name in the hat over there with them stankin' Landris. Yep. And they been they ain't even looked at the girl's stuff. Don't nope. They probably don't even know. The girl got she, it going on. Yeah, I like old Kiki. And she ain't gave you none and you still in love with her. Uh -huh. hey. yeah. So she got crowned and I was happy about it. And then we got Davis West, after they all said and done, they had a successful event. It was uh, it is what it is. Davis West shows up over at um Charlie's house, and he told Charlie, you know, what you did today was a, you did a good job. And she thanked him for everything that he did because he really did come through. And he for her. came through, and they did they they mesh like they did when they were married. Yeah, but without the marriage, and you can see that he feeling some kind of way. And she said, you called me earlier. What was that about? He was like, oh, never mind. It was about mm -hmm. Michael dropping him off. And she was like, okay. Nah. He said, well, I'm going to L.A. tomorrow. He said, so you not going to ask? She said, I don't give a fuck about what you do. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about you or anything <laughs> that you do. <laughs> <laughs> so he was like, oh, okay. She said, because that ain't my place no more. Basically, I'm not your wife no more. Why I care what you're going to L.A. for? Yeah, and he was like, that girl, you know, that ain't that serious. But... Yeah, he said to mom, that ain't that serious. He, she, she said, said well, well Remy, Remy and me, yeah, that's, that is serious. a big deal. That's a big deal. And you see his face like just He just, just cracked. Broke. And he just basically walked away at that point. I said, mm. And then he walked away. He said, you know what? I apologize I'm for sorry. everything that I put you through, Charlie. I really do. Now, she's sitting over there, stuck oh. in her goddamn feelings. I'm like, I yeah, said, why don't, do people always do that to people, don't do man? It. Why you do that to people? But I'm mad. I don't think Dr. Dubois coming back no more. I think she don't, she don't did it for the last time. You think it's she the last straw? Yeah, she gonna have to go get him. That's why I said she, she gonna have to go begging this time. Cause I mean that dude shows the hell up. He's yep. like Michael Myers in the middle of the night. He yep. show up. Michael Myers with a shooting glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said he looked like the singer Joe, and I finally saw it. Like he do look like yeah, Joe. Yeah, he do. Mm -hmm. He said, "I want to know what's on your mind." <laughs> so yeah, Nova, I think you let a good one go, just like your mama did. God darn, I'm mad about so it. So he end up with a white woman. Don't be pissed <laughs> off. I'm telling you, don't be pissed off. Which I know you is going to be. But hey, you did it. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla. <laughs>